How y'all doing today? And for this video, I want to address a rumor that's been floating around in the dietetics community. And this is, will in the future, students have to have graduate degrees in order to be a dietitian? And unfortunately, this is not a rumor. This is actually reality. Starting January 1st, 2024, they are raising the entry level registration requirements to become a dietitian from being a bachelor's degree to a graduate degree. So what constitutes as a graduate degree is either a master's degree, um, a doctor degree or PhD. And so I'm going to read some of the reasons um, they're going to they're going to make this change. Some questions that a lot of people may have and some of the questions that I, I've had and some of the answers um, to that. And also at the end, I'm going to just give my overall viewpoints on this change and if I agree and disagree with it. All right, so let's first start off with what are some of the reasons that they give for this change? And so I'm going to read it out. I have some notes. The first one, they say they believe that a high level of education will elevate the practice at all levels of the profession. You can agree with that if you want. They say health professionals with advanced degrees tend to have higher self-esteem. Also, health professionals with higher um, levels of education garner more respect um, amongst other pra practitioners in healthcare. And then they say dietitians with graduate degrees tend to have higher salaries. And they went on saying that um, dietitians with master's degrees tend to make $2.41 extra an hour compared to a dietitian that has a bachelor's degree. All right, with all that being said, let's get to the real part of the video. Let's answer some of these questions that y'all may have. So the first question is, does this affect the content that's gonna be on the RD exam? Because now you required to have a master's degree, is the content gonna be harder? Um, is it gonna be more science? Is it gonna be more math? And the answer is no. The content on an RD exam will not change. Number two, this is probably the most important question out of all of them. If you are already a dietitian, before 2024 and you don't have a master's degree or any other advanced degree, will you be required to go back to school to get a graduate degree to, to maintain um, your registration as a dietitian? And the answer is no. If you become a dietitian before the year 2024, you will be grandfathered in and you won't have to get a graduate degree. Um, another question, if you're a diet tech, and uh, the requirements for that, you can have an associate's degree from an accredited college, pass the exam, and you can be a, dietetic, by a dietetic tech. Will their requirements go from having an associate's degree to a bachelor's degree because of the changes? And that answer is no. So none of those requirements are gonna change if you're a registered diet tech. And the last question that you may have, if you have your bachelor's degree, you finish your internship, but you have not passed the RD exam before January 1st, 2024, will you be required to get a graduate degree? And the answer is no. Um, they're saying that the, the requirements for registration for the RD exam, that's how I'm, that, they say the requirements for registration. I'm thinking that they're saying requirements to register for the exam. So if you've already finished the internship, you are already eligible for registration. So you'll be grandfathered in. You don't have to get um, a graduate degree to become a dietitian prior to, to or after 2004 if you aren't already a dietitian. If you pass that, if you have your bachelor's degree and you pass that, um, finish your internship, you're good. And also, I forgot another question is, 
what degrees will will any degree count as a graduate degree and the answer is yes and this kind of puzzled me right here so they're saying you can get like a master's in public health um a mba anything all they care about is that you have a graduate level degree all right now finally let me just give my overall impressions on this change I do not agree with this change um, and here are some of my reasons first I feel like it's already hard enough to become a dietitian um, having to get your bachelor's degree and then working for at least a year during an internship then passing the exam and then with the internship you only having a 50 percent chance of getting in um the dietetics field is a very fast growing field it's growing at i think in the next 10 years it's, pro it's projected to grow um by 20 percent which is like faster than average so increasing these standards to now you have to get a bachelor's now you have to then you got to get a master's then you still have to do an internship to me i think that's going to force a lot of people away from this profession and to be honest once they make this change i don't know if i can recommend becoming a dietitian for most people when you look at the cost of all that school and working for free and then knowing that in, in the field of dietetics we don't really get paid that much and another reason why I disagree with it is because I don't understand why they're making this jump to a graduate degree and they're saying that you can have any degree. And they're trying to compare it to like, and I feel like they're trying to compare themselves to other professions like nursing. So like taking into consideration, like if you get a bachelor's degree in nutrition and dietetics, but then you get a degree in psychology, a graduate degree, I don't understand how that psychology degree is going to help you become a better dietitian and help you pass that RD exam. I feel like shouldn't it be limited to like a graduate degree in nutrition? Because if you take a look at nursing, if you want to become a nurse practitioner, you can't just get a bachelor's degree in nursing and then get a graduate degree in nutrition and then pass and then be eligible to pass the nurse practitioner exam to me that doesn't make any sense so some of my suggestions are i feel like if you're going to go this route to where you need to get a graduate degree then i feel that you need to do away with the internship or have it either or either say okay you can get your bachelor's degree and then do an internship that way or you can go straight the school route and get your bachelor's degree and graduate degree and then take the exam i think it should be either way i don't think you should add another two years to this already long process to becoming um a dietitian and that that's pretty much my thing i, I feel like it's going to hurt the field it's already a lot of people that are kind of wary about becoming a dietitian as it is already because of the, the internship is just not enough but now you're adding tacking on two more years and added debt and added time added expenses i don't know but i would like to know some of y'all opinions on this what do y'all think about this um any students that are interested in nutrition as well as dietitians do you think increasing the minimum um standards to taking the rd exam making that a graduate degree now do you think that's beneficial to this profession let me know down in the comments hopefully this video made sense i felt like i was kind of rambling but y'all have a nice day